grass is always greener on the other side, or so they say. But I can tell you from personal experience, that's a lie. But it's a lie that we all get tricked into believing. And getting tricked, as an illusionist, that's something I understand. For example, multiple surveys have been done to try to figure out how much money we need to be happy. If you ask someone who makes $30,000 a year how much they feel like they need, the response wasn't always, I want to be a millionaire. The majority simply said, if I had about $40,000 a year, that would be enough. But can you guess how people responded who made $40,000 a year? They simply said, if I had about $50,000 a year, I would be happy. And that trend continued even into income brackets of people who made hundreds of thousands of dollars. The answer, no matter how much we have, was always just a little bit more. And this doesn't just happen with money, does it? We see this play out in every single part of our lives. As men, we become convinced that we have something to prove. That we have to show the world that we are man enough, smart enough, strong enough, successful enough. Our culture is constantly telling us that we never have enough, that we're never good enough. Therefore, we keep reaching for just a little bit more. Our wives and daughters get tricked into believing that they aren't beautiful enough, thin enough, or perfect enough. Partly because, like us, they're taking in four to 5,000 messages and photoshopped advertisements a day telling them that they aren't. And partly because most of us men are so busy seeking our own approval that we don't invest the time in telling them the truth, that they already are beautiful. But what if we did? Not just told them that they were, but loved them like they were. What would happen if we all discovered who we were created to be? What would happen if our lives were rooted in the truth that in the eyes of our Creator, we have nothing to prove because His love is a gift and not something rooted in our appearances or performances. Look, God does not love a future version of you based on a life you will someday live. You can find hope and peace and joy in the fact that you already are enough and not because of anything that you do, but because of what Christ has already done. Everything that you need to find fulfillment is right in front of you. You just have to open your eyes. Unfortunately, our eyes are easily deceived. And to better understand the truth, you must first understand the illusions that you have been tricked into believing. Adam and Eve had perfection, <laughs> the entire Garden of Eden, and they still reached for the illusion of more. And unfortunately, we've been reaching for that same illusion ever since. It turns out the grass is not always greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it.